could be yours for an offer. This is a little house you found. Yeah, let's go get the stairs. Let's go get the stairs. This is Jonathan. <laughs> Your name, John? What's his real name? John. What did you think it was? Jonathan. I thought his name would be Rainbow Skywalker. Another day, another summer. Yes, another summer. I found a dollhouse. A dollhouse? Whoa. I want to see the inside first or the outside? The inside. Is this a little bit of stairs? A little bit of stairs? Do you want to see the outside? Sure. What a fancy dollhouse. Do I need to bid on it? The yeah. estimated value is $100. Tennis balls. <laughs> The topic has moved on. So it's lots of things. It's yeah. a book fair. It's an antique fair. It's a yard sale. It's church a church fair. It's a quality church fair. Yeah. This was one of the church fairs that I would go to as a child. Probably the third tier church fair. But still one of my favorites. Yeah. I mentioned it last night. I was like, hey, they're doing this thing. And you were like, we're going. You well, just... I haven't been in years because I never know when it is. Uh -huh. Like, because I don't drive by here. St. John's the first, the <laughs> sadly, in August. Yeah. Hopefully they have it this year. They haven't had it last two, of course. Well, our big one is July 9th. Yeah, I'll be there too. <laughs> <laughs> when we filmed one of our first Jones carts in 2015, yep. that very guy overheard us talking and, and told us when St. Teresa's was. The guy knows. And he's gotten a lot older. Well, haven't we all? This is one of the better ones. Yeah. yeah. This one, and uh, there's uh, St. John the Baptist in Westport. This it's month. August 8th this year. Yes, it's not is. the first weekend, ah. which is good because St. Teresa's has got theirs August 1st. St. Teresa's. What a bag of corks for two bucks. What a value. I don't know what you need it for, but. To cork uncorked bottles. Perhaps, and if you do need to, incredible value for corks. Normally you gotta pay for corks. I see that the primary thing is radio and tape. Yeah. So if you had a tape collection, it could be fun. I'm kind of drawn to these just, you know, as part of a- Relics. I did have one exactly like this. You know, I'm actually in the market for a CD player just for the yard. Well then. Is it battery powered? It can be. Like a thousand D batteries. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh like eight D batteries, <laughs> 10 D batteries. Take it to the beach one day. And well, last for half the day. Looks like a nice item though. Speaking of which, you can get a nice new roll of CDRs for a mere $2. That's a pretty good buy. Very vintage iron. Back when things had cloth cords. Nice neck gear for you. Oh sure, uh, ultra high speed cable modem. Ultra high speed. It stocks at 3.1. It's still the current standard. It could be yours for an offer. The Wii wireless, the batteries, and the charging stand. I used to actually have that very one. Yes. And it does. It did eventually just completely crap out. Like, just don't work. They only take two double A's, and yep. they last somewhat long. Yeah. So you just double A it. Oh my this God. This is a Bose subwoofer. A serious piece of audio equipment. 15 pin connector for audio. That's surround sound system. Fancy stuff. Yeah, you never really want to woof. I'm not really into the big complicated stuff anymore. Movies is kind of a different experience than it used to be for me. How about a food dehydrator? This is $120 item on Amazon. Didn't need a one to dehydrate some food. Did she? This is a very expensive vacuum. An old cleaner. What was so special about it? The brand. Kirby. Kirby. The most expensive in vacuums. And it's a good vacuum. Look at that nice Kirby in the back. It's a good vacuum. Quality. There's a good density of quality stuff here. I like the big box of catcher mitts. It's good luggage. Like you just need some like $5 luggage. If you need a big ass one, yeah, how much for a big ass one? Five. I travel once or twice a year. And right now I have one that's about this size, which is, you know, carry on compliant. I used to travel way more lightly, obviously yeah. before a child, but also before I got older. Now I'm a little older. Yeah, I'm like, I, I got to bring everything. Yeah. When I would staff out of my Boston, I'd put everything in a backpack and bring it with me. Yeah. Like one backpack. You ever get to the hotel bed and they only have one pillow? One lousy ass pillow that you, <laughs> the minute you put your head, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> You'll call the front desk for that. You'll oh, get yeah. that solved. Oh, yeah. Can you send up six pillows, please? My first skeleton? Well, one of them's got to be your first, right? Retails for $22.99. Three bucks. Oh, if that's what you're out here looking for today. Sad Max. <laughs> Sad Max bombs and other disasters. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes God jumps out and talks to you. It's a diagnostic book for old Macintoshes. Because remember, if they had a problem, they'd start up and have a sad Mac uh, face. Oh, okay. And the bombs was like, if it was a system fault, you get the bomb and, you know, restart right. now. Oh, and I'm hanging around you. I see sad Mac and I think Evol, I think We've all had a sad Mac. Yeah. <laughs> what I would do is I'd take the noodles and wash them in a, in a small pond <laughs> and then eat them. <laughs> Sad Max bombs and other disasters. That should be our book that <laughs> recaps all of Box Mac. Ah, uh, the missed media table. 
Oh, you're talking my language now. This is like a, a lovely collection. Look, Mrs. Doubtfire, yeah. Goodwill Hunting, Splash. Never seen Splash. Matrix, Dirty Harry, Misery, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. Have we run into a bad movie yet? This is the first one, I don't know what it is. I thought if John and I did our microwave cooking show, we could also do the science show. <laughs> Lake Woebegone Gone Days by Garrison Keillor, a book that I have read and enjoy, Billy 19. Oh my god. How wonderful. Cassette. Double VHS of, of Titanic, which seems like one is missing. Yeah. No. Volume one is missing. It's in a VCR somewhere. T -t 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 Titanic. Barbie related DVDs. Gloria may actually be interested. Barbie and Girl Misk. Yes. You ever see Beauty and the Beast 2? No. Well, let me tell you something. I hadn't either. It's almost as well animated as the first, and it has the original voice cast, and it has Tim Curry as a villain. Oh, come along. It's merely an opera. I think it was straight to video, but it was before they came up with a straight to video cheap strategy. Lion King 2 was pretty good, yeah. too. And I think it was as of Return of Jafar yep. when they started to yeah, kind of like cheap it out. These are jalapenos. Oh, I'm curious as to what this one I'm is. I'm not sure. I might pick that one up. It's kind of a small leaf hosta. It might get bigger as it gets older. He always pronounces it hosta, and we always have to tell him I it's know. hosta. Hosta, hosta, whatever. <laughs> How much is potato, that Potato, potato. Did you get it? I've gotten one hosta. Five dollars. I saw that little garden over there. It was made by the Girl Scouts, and it's native pollinator yes, a plants. native pollinator garden. Oh, by the way, see this thing right here? Yeah. That's what's on the side of my house. Okay, one, just one of them? Uh, we have two. But now that I'm saying that this church only has one tank, I'm like, do we have way overkill by our little... No, no, it's just so that you don't have to get it refilled constantly so that you have plenty of gas. And here at this church, they're like, we'll just refill it every day. I don't know. I just did whatever they specced. I like the little tears of it. It kind of has like this nice shape to it. Eclectic in a way that I think speaks to you. It does. You like your gardens controlled, maintained within an inch of their lives, <laughs> trimmed to perfection. <laughs> How do you feel about like uh, like plastic rocking chairs? Uh, the bane of my existence. That butterfly of chair, perfectly fine. It will, it'll sustain me. I can tell right from here. My cool ghost. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we were just talking about how cool it came out. Yeah. Thrift shop. Narrow corridors here. Oh, there's a whole art room. Look at this. A basic diorama. <laughs> Two bucks. This is my kind of stuff right here. You get a ton of the Carol Burnett show. Wow. And I bet you that's a funny show. It is a funny show. Let's meditate on this for a moment. Buying Lord of the Rings standard def full screen edition. Cinematic malpractice. This is a good collection of movies, though, with a few exceptions. I mean, there's plenty of good ones in here. Your Hot Fuzz and your Jackass 2.5. Well, this is awfully this cute. kind of like a real ass store. Nina needs to get in here. Yeah. Like a well structured, high quality children's stuff over here. What's this? I don't know. Boogie lights? Oh, is it like strobe? It's like curated miscellaneous. Yeah. Not the queen? The queen? With some earrings. Like she could have looked like this. More earrings on more celebrities. It's a theme they're going for. It's like a design decision. Hey, like like an eclectic cat. I love it. Yeah. It doesn't really have a place in my kitchen, but I love it. And then you get some clothes, some bathing suits. That's the, the basic thrift store. This is the expanded thrift store. Barnum's Animal Cracker Tin. I actually love it. Campbell's Tin. Like commercial tins. How much are the animal crackers? A buck. A buck. But free stuff. It's a free stuff shed. And we used to joke about about buying one of these and making a studio out of it. Nina's found a new shed. Could that be our studio space? You could buy these three foot extension kits. We could make a 50 foot shed and that would be plenty of space. Oh, VHS the rewinder. Yeah, rewinder. Some free VHS, including some free blank VHS. Ooh. You can take away somebody's taped off a TV, like whatever <sighs> episode of Days of Our Lives. They happen to tape that day. I have a VCR still. And sometimes you need sometimes to Sometimes you might need to clean the head. So grab it. I it's am. free. It's free. You don't even have to talk to anybody to no, leave with it. I just walk right, right out here. <laughs> Nina's gonna buy some false graph. John loved that cat cookie jar. Do you love it too? Uh, yeah, kind of. Gloria's gonna get this for free. Blueberry muffin. Oh, bread. that looks good. Delicious. Oh, look at these mega cookies. This is up my alley. I can really throw you guys for a loop. I have a blackberry lemon zest cheesecake in the refrigerator oh. that is going for 12. I got two of them upstairs right oh. now. It's just right now I'm gonna go with this. This looks delicious. That's where I'm going. Ultimate peanut butter. All right, what do you think of my cookies I bought? Uh, looks delicious. Let's try it out. Pretty tasty. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You like peanut butter? This is for you. You get real chocolate ass to it. Big chocolate chunks, small Reese's pieces. You get a big mouthful of, of junk, of, of delicious Yeah, junk. delicious peanut buttery chocolatey junk. You know what? It's super good, but yeah. you do need milk with it. You do. It's a little, it's a little, it's a drying cookie. No malsadish though. No, this isn't that kind of show. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives.